What? Wow. Wow. Okay. People are going to be disappointed. People are going to be disappointed. Two minutes until Pokemon Presents 2023 begins. Reminder, there is a little bit of a bet going on. If I am correct that we will be getting red, blue, and yellow, and perhaps some more games announced for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulators on Nintendo Switch Online, co-host of Game Bytes, Alex, is going to have to play Fortnite with me. And if I am wrong, I have to eat some weird tasting lettuce. I don't know, maybe ice cream with ketchup and mustard. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to be right. I think we're going to get some cool news about the future of Pokemon Legacy games on the Nintendo Switch and the next Nintendo console. So let's dive in. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Ishihara, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, look at the games in the background. February 27th. Whoa, that makes Pokemon sense. Day. It's his office. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan, marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. What are we doing here? At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered, but now that number has grown to over 1,000. It's kind of enough. To all you trainers around the world who have what? journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years. What is that we Pikachu? So thankful for your support. Is that, a, is that an animatronic? In today's presentation, we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. First, we would like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championships. Ooh. The first ever to be held in Japan. Mr. Chris Brown, take it away. Is that, a, is that a robot? What is that? Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon World Championships. This past year in London, more than 10,000 trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Trading card game. Okay. Thank you to all the trainers who made the London World Championships our largest ever, and congratulations again to our newest world champions. Now I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. The 2023 Pokemon World Championships will be held in Japan for the very first time. We look forward to trainers battling oh, the Pokemon okay. Scarlet and Pokemon They have the games, games as well. The Pokemon Training Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite from August 11th to 13th. You see, Unite's a game Yokohama. I want to play more of. For more Am I crazy decade, for that? We have created special artwork to honor each location that makes the World Championship experience unique. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yukoko. That's pretty cool. That's cool that they do that. The World Championships is so special because of how our community from around the world comes together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, be sure to catch all the action on our live broadcasts all weekend long. Hmm. Thank you. You're, he's very serious there. Thank you, Mr. Brown. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later this year. I love this music. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Oh, very, uh, very nondescript. This looks like a new movie. Classic trading card game? the heck what the heck are they bringing back old decks this is like fancy Pokemon I have no idea what's going on, but I'm intrigued. Classic. 
classic. What? What? They're launching a new line. Interesting. Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last a lifetime. Okay, so Created it's compatible. By firm Nendo, creatures, it's just this Pokemon set. Company as gotcha. Production. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships. So I hope you will all come check it out. Okay. I, I was thinking they were going to segment the players Next, again. That would be weird. We'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. Ooh. <laughs> to tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Okay. Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim, and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you for having us here today, and I'm thrilled to share how we're bringing Pokemon and Netflix together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming new that movie, entertains audiences around the world. And so today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, okay. Pokemon Concierge. We have a group of experts here in Japan who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. And we are dedicated to adapting fan favorite stories and manga into extraordinary shows. With this title, we're excited to marry an entirely new storyline that expands the Pokemon universe with groundbreaking stop motion animation. Interesting. To bring this new world to life, we've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. <laughs> Never heard of them. The series, which will be set at the Pokemon Resort, follows the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. We hope you enjoy today's first look at the okay, Netflix we're gonna series get, we're gonna Pokemon Concierge. And we can't wait to share more with you. Pokemon Resort. Pokemon so is this for adults? Or is this for children? Thank you very much, Mr. Or Kevin. both? I mean Pokemon Concierge will be a new animated series brought to you by Netflix and Pokemon. Please stay tuned for this new series release. Now, we'd like to present the latest news about our games. Here we go! Give me the game news. Please take it away. That's what I care about most. Scarlet and Violet DLC. Gotta have some Scarlet and Violet DLC. Maybe a new mystery dungeon game. Hello. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Have you all been making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? I think so. I don't Today, know. Today, we have updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon mm -hmm. Violet games. But first, please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. What other games could be getting updates? Sword of Shield? Unite. The 5-on-5 five five strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. We've entered our this second a, year of service is, and surpassed this 100... game is better than League of Legends to me. More and more Pokemon have joined the fray, allowing for even more strategies and ways to play. The legendary Pokemon Zacian is now joining Unite battles. Its Unite move is Sovereign Sword. It can cut a broad swath with its Slash attack. It can also charge its sword with Aos energy to unleash a stronger attack. Use these huge attacks to overwhelm your opponents. And don't miss Ooh, out. Oh, look at the fancy tux. That's how they get you. They want you to buy the clothes for the Pokemon. The adventure in Zacian's Wield event is now underway. Complete missions to receive rewards. You can also obtain Zacian's Unite license, so be sure to join in. There's also a boss rush event underway. Stand against formidable foes with your oh, allies. Some big boys, some Reggies. Plus, to celebrate Pokemon Day, we're distributing a gift code for a special item. 
And we're hosting an invitation-only league to decide our Asia region champions. Check out how the battles are going on the official Pokemon Unite social channels. The teams that win their way through each league will come together in a dramatic face-off in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur on March 18th and 19th. Look forward to Asia's greatest Unite battles, and we'll keep bringing you more to enjoy in Pokemon I wonder Unite how big Unite is in the APEC region versus the West. I'm gonna get a cooking game. That'd be cool. This is Italian kind of music. What is that? What is that? That looks delicious. I have not eaten yet today. Well, I had a bar. What's this? Seems the aroma of our newest dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, we meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Quacoco and Quaxly. Quax. We have plenty of servings of the new Paldea dish and bring delight to your Pokemon visitors. Progress through the event and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. Which one will you choose? I well played this game. Is this Celebrate mobile? Pokemon Day in Pokemon Cafe Remix. We're also giving away a special in-game Great Chef outfit for Greninja. And there's more. You can now deliver to a looks, whole array yeah, of looks mobile. chef Pokemon that have appeared in the past. To celebrate this special development, you can mm. enjoy a bonus 11 times express delivery right now without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix Switch on and phone. Switch or your mobile device. Okay. And discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Uh, I'm sure people enjoy that game. Ooh. Ooh. I hope you're ready. Here we come. Those with the strongest convictions will win. I'm not gonna let you win. Oh, what do we got? We got some classic games here. Shine on. Shall we begin? Mystery okay. at once. Let's go. Hi. Come on. All right. My wish is for Galos trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. I haven't played I'm EX either. No, I'm going to be even stronger. Galar Zapdos. Pink is all well and good, I suppose. But I think I'll cover you in the color of feet. Morny, that was her name. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. Let's get this started. They're really going first with the uh a lot of these other adjacent games, which I get. Pokemon Masters EX. These don't have the biggest draw, so get them first and then make people wait. What do we have here though? Moving on, please have a look at this video. Very vague. What do we hear? Gameplay footage. Is this Pokemon Go? Utata was German. Were they were there reports of this some type of like AR health device? I would freak the heck out. <laughs> Good morning. 
What is this? We know we've kept you all waiting. Mm, have you? Last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. Interesting. To get a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. Gamifying Sleep? Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. On this island, you'll find great big Snorlax. Yeah, that's me when I sleep. Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon Sleep. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. If you leave your smartphone by your pillow when you go to bed, your sleep will be measured, recorded, and analyzed. How? Done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. Dozing, snoozing, or slumbering. Pokemon that tend to sleep in the same way as you did will gather around Snorlax. As you keep this up, you might even discover some rare in-game sleep styles that most will never see. It seems that each species of Pokemon has several sleep styles. Get lots of sleep and try to find them all. Enjoy going to sleep and waking up each day as you research the sleep styles of Pokemon together. With so how does it differentiate between you and say your 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 wife for me, right? By like using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm. Pokemon Sleep will be available for iOS and Android devices later this year. Next, we'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse of, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. This is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. plus it is plus. a new device that you can use with Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Press the button when you are going to bed. Because we got to. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. We got, we got to. Just like that, your sleep data has been measured. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Mika, Mika! It can sing you lullabies, Mika, 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 grow friendlier the more sleep. I don't. I do not know, know how I feel about this. Unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like you're cuddled up to catch some Z's with Pikachu. <laughs> this device <clears throat> also has handy functions for playing Pokemon Go. Without even pulling out your smartphone, you can automatically spin Pokestops and throw regular Pokeballs at Pokemon. And now you can choose to throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls as well at the press of a button. There are future plans to add new functionality that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Stay tuned for more. Interesting. I mean, my biggest what do you think? question with Pokemon, Pokemon Sleep Go is why not just device. utilize wearable tech digital. data to get a better analysis of your sleep because that data is already there for most people that have any type of wearable technology now i get that not everyone has it and maybe maybe the majority of apac market doesn't carry something i don't know to come about pokemon sleep and the pokemon go plus plus device come on give us what we want we want red blue and yellow and next we turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Gotta get some DLC. The newest games in the Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. We got... Ooh! <gasps> I 
I don't know what's going on, but I'm intrigued. New Paradox Pokemon have been found in the Paldea region. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet, while Iron Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. Makes sense. I think. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terror Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as okay. soon as preparations are complete. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, I do and love other this song. trainers to take on this challenge. The games will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. Okay. That makes In sense. Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. And you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based on the postcard's location data. And on the Pokemon huh. Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul in that game. Okay. Try to collect 999 Gimme Ghoul coins to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon there it Scarlet is. and Pokemon Violet early this year. There it is. That's so that's the one thing needed. Bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. We hope you look forward to it. And Scarlet Violet Pokemon to other games? And finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with All you. All right, here it is. Here it is. Are they going to do it? Please have a look at this. He sounds excited. He sounds excited. Is that the original bus commercial? Is this the original commercial with the bus? No. I'm exaggerating. Come on. Is this the Kanto region? What was that? Is this the new show? A new show DLC DLC okay DLC which we thought we'd be getting DLC that can't be the last video Indigo disc. Okay, when did they come out? Fall and winter of 2023. Wow, okay, so they're really putting that back to the latter half. The DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Hmm. The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero will be released in two parts, with part one, The Teal Mask, coming in fall 2023. That can't be it, Part though. Two, Come on. The Indigo Disc will be distributed in winter 2023. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. What's... In Part 1, The Teal Mask, you'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip. So they are giving you new lands. expand beyond the Paldea region. That's what and we were wondering two, then. The Indigo Disc Space? will be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. Blueberry. During Blueberry. These adventures, you'll be able to encounter some familiar Pokemon that you didn't see living in Paldea. 
The legendary Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask, and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please look forward to the <laughs> Resplendent that will in its in glittering two parts aura. Discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. The hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation ends. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set. Yeah, you need and a new uniform. New outfits in your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. As an early purchase bonus, we've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisuian Zor arc for your in-game team. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet that's not Pokemon it. Violet games. What did you think? As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. What about one more way? Come on. Thank you for tuning in. What? Vega, Vega. What? Wow. Wow. Okay. People are going to be disappointed. People are going to be disappointed. Ouch. That 